scriptures, listen to this, you know God have to deal with time divinely to get one person to come into your life at the right time. He's got to make, think about what God has to do. He got to make sure all of the man says the right thing at the right time. He, you all scuffling and, and, and all uptight and all that want God to move right now. If God moved right now, everything would fall. That's not it. God wants to move internally first, free you up on the inside first. Once that's done, the stuff is on its way. Amen. And you just got to know that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So here it is, First John. For there are three that bear record. Why am I? I'm putting this verse up here. There are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, capital W-R-D, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Why am I saying this? Simply because I want you to get to this place where you understand when I'm talking about integrity, that integrity looks like one. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So now your, 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 your body, your soul, and your spirit, it has to look like one. In other words, the, the, on earth, the body will get the credit, but we'll know it came from your spirit. Y'all understand? This is why it says, and these three are one, because that's integrity. When you see something that is true, it's a lot of components, but guess what? They all work together. Your car, there's a lot of components to the car, but you just see the car because it is has integrity in how everything works. Do y'all understand that? And it's the same way in your body. That's why stress comes. Do you not do you not know stress comes to people and people are, are on medicine simply because they are out of whack as it relates to integrity, their integrity, internal integrity. Amen. If God said this and you believe that, now you have to convince your soul, mind, will, and emotions that he's telling you the truth in order to effectuate change in your body so that you can walk as one. That means you are whole. When you are whole like that, you are convinced of who God is and now can't nothing be restrained from you because you are what? You are one. Genesis chapter 11 to prove it. You are one on the inside and just like the church. When the church is full and become one, when all of us fight through this faith thing and we all become one, then you'll see that no, nothing can stop, stop the church from doing exactly what the church needs to do because the church is or have integrity. Amen. That's why we don't can't get anything done. That's why we're polarized. Why? Because the church is fragmented all over the place. And I believe the reason it's fragmented is simply because they don't teach on, uh, on, on the kingdom and kingdom principles that include all of the other things, characteristics and how you speak in this kingdom. You know, people, just think about royal people. They don't arbitrarily just sin. Do you ever see them at the bar? Well, they caught the prince. He's at the bar right now. Well, the latest one might be doing that. But they caught the prince at the uh, bar last night. He got in a brawl. And you ain't even going to find all that kind of stuff going on. Why? Because he's a royal priest. Y'all hear what I'm saying? See, when you're, when, you're, <laughs> when you're royal, certain things you just don't do. Like, listen at this. Say, I ain't got to step down and sin because I know who I am. And I ain't going to let nobody make me sin because I know who I am. And I know my value. Listen, especially when it comes to women. Especially when it comes to women. Proverbs 31. So they can see this. This, this. You are so valuable. Men will do anything when it comes to you. But you got to know who you are. You got to serve God. And I won't take nothing less. And what will happen is, the men will come. Chuck Chung came to church. Because Brandon was here. <laughs> Lord God. He ain't going to admit it. but <laughs> Brandon said, you got to go. Okay. <laughs> he, he, he just came right behind you, didn't he? Amen. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, John. Amen. And you knew your value. If you knew who you was, I'm talking about even men as royal priests. If you, you knew who you was, you wouldn't just accept anything. You Listen, if a man can't submit to God, why in the world would you submit to him? I would. I'm talking about if I was a woman, I would. <laughs> Ain't no way. Submission to God. Look, even if I miss it. It doesn't matter. Like, like my wife know, I'll miss it in a minute. <laughs> but when I miss it, she still knows that God is talking to me. Amen, amen. You'll never know somebody.
somebody's voice until you talk to them on a regular. My sheep, they know my voice. You'll never have a friend until you talk to them. <laughs> the words of, of kingdom. Verse 10. Ten. Verse 10, I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Look at this. Glory to God. That brother working the thing right there. Hallelujah. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price, hmm, is far above rubies. Next verse. Hmm. Oh my God. The heart of her husband, do it safely trust in her. Y'all hear that? See, he ain't, he ain't got to worry about it because she has value. Amen. So that he shall have no need of spoil. Don't need nothing. I woke up this morning. I kept smelling something. What is that? Played by the bed. I said, thank you, baby. <laughs> hey, no need to spoil. Next verse. God taught her that, not me. <laughs> it, it, look, the connection, listen, individual connection with God is necessary first. She got to have her own individual relationship with God before she try to have a relationship with somebody else. Amen. I had to have my own relationship with God before I had a relationship with her. Yes. And it's that space between relationships where God come in. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's the space. See, see God needs the space. So he can make you. So that you are valuable. Oh God. She would do, she would do him good and not evil all the days of her life. I trust that. I believe that. Next verse. She seeketh wool and flax. I just tell you the whole story. This sister is doing some business. She is so, so, so. She is so, so why why is why is it, why is it talking about her doing the business? It's because of detail. Yes. See, he can have a big vision, but he just don't know how to get there. Hmm. Somebody got to do the detail, and we just ain't made like that. Amen. Amen. Ain't like, we just want to fix it. We, we don't want to read no instructions a lot of time, I'm just saying. I, I mean, you know, I just put back tie on the front tie when I on Christmas for the children. Just, hey man, it look like it go like this. <laughs> what are all them other things doing in that bag? I don't know, but it worked on it. <laughs> see, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, amen. See, see, value. Know who you are. And when you transform that way, you have this confidence in you. And the confidence you'll know is in God and in you because you still are missing and still have confidence. Y'all hear that, don't you? I can, listen, listen, put this up there, uh, Philippians 1 and 6. I got confidence that wherever I miss it, sooner or later I will get it. Because God is wanting to complete me until Jesus comes. So I'll never be so perfect that I don't need God. Never. So my confidence is in God making the transformation on the inside of me. And he'll do it. He'll do it. Look at this. Being confident. So here it is. We're talking about this confidence. When you're transformed, you got confidence. Yes. See, you meditate long enough that that transformation takes place and you got confidence. Yes. Glory. Amen. See, I had to meditate uh, 2 Timothy 1 and 7 so long. Look, God ain't gave me the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of the soundness of mind. Soundness of mind. Soundness of mind. I'm talking about I can't go crazy because I got the sound mind. Listen, sound mind is a mind that has been Romans 12. Put that up there. Sound mind is a Romans 12 mind that you have gone through this process. I beseech you therefore, brother, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Next verse. Hallelujah. And then it says, don't conform to this world. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye what? Transformed. Y'all see that? 
transform. So you won't what? So you won't act like the rest of the world. Y'all see that? So, so in order for me not to, listen, in order for me not to respond the same way they respond, I've got to be transformed. Y'all hear that? Y'all see Miss Vanessa right there? I saw Miss Vanessa cry a little bit. You know why? When her son died four or five months ago. A little bit. You know why? Because she understands that I'm a mourn because that's my son. But guess what? We don't mourn as if we don't have hope. That's what the Bible says. And then you got to locate him. Remember what I said at the, at the, at the, the viewing? What I said? Let's locate him. Where is he? The Bible says, soon as out of the body, you are present with the Lord. Oh, here, here you are. I know he was saved because I was the one that took him through. So now he's before the Lord, right? Cloud of witnesses in Hebrews, all of these things. He's gone back home based off Jeremiah 1 and 5 where he came from. I knew you before you was in your mother's womb. I ordained you to the nations. Amen. So I'm going back home and now I recognize that oh I came through my mama but now she is my sister um, that's that's real talk that's real talk so my point is when you have been transformed something else happens in you now some people on the other side will think something wrong with you Miss Vanessa how come you're not crying 